pressure. They're bringing the double reverse this time. Gallon, Jeremy Gallon got the corner for another first down. 98, but I love to see him block on the reverse. Trying to get this overflowing defense. Look at Gardner 98. Is it the number? Is it going back to his old wide receiver days? Love to see Gardner involved in trying to open this up. Al Borges has opened up his playbook. <laughs> Play action from the pocket. Downfield strike wide open against the zone defense. Gallon breaks a tackle. Comes free. Hudson zone. Forget about it. Right in right here. Funches going in motion. Creates headaches for Notre Dame's defense. You'll see Shoemate drop, but watch the coverage up here as well. See the tight end goes in motion. Shoemate now makes a call. He's got to get back in coverage, but watch Notre Dame's defense. you got two defenders right here going to the flat. A safety gets caught up with the deep route by Chesson. Huge hole right there. And as you said, Brent, I think you were as surprised as anybody. There's four Notre Dame defenders. Nobody makes the tackle. And then Chesson comes back and is able to pick up that last block. But four Notre Dame defenders right there. Nobody makes the tackle. Steps up from the pressure. Fires incomplete. And that was terrific. Comes in as the running back. Play action from Gardner has plenty of time. And Gallon reaches and grabs for a first down. Running the football on early downs. So what does Michigan do? Great call by Al Borges. First and ten. Play action. There's Nix closing in again on Devin Gardner. Seven. Stays in to pass protect. Does a great job. Gallon comes back on Jackson and he's got it and out of bounds for a first down. For third down, he knows he's got man-to-man -man coverage on the outside. Puts the ball on the back shoulder and lets Gallon adjust to the football. Ball's in the air now. Gallon comes back to the football and makes the play. Gallon, I personally believe, pound for pound, one of the most... Play action. Gardner stands tall, fires incomplete. And penalty flag is... And it's just towards the end of this. Really, there's a great route. Ball is thrown. He's holding him, number one. And then the contact. There's two things. And he to the left. Play action. Gardner going to throw back. Middle. Gallon comes back and gets it. Great job of adjusting. Again, he's one of the best at doing this. He, he understands that his quarterback at times is going to get into trouble. And when he does, his eye... Certainly within Gibbons' range now. They'll see what they can do on third down to move the chains. Gardner's going to go back. Toss to the far end zone. Jump ball. Gallon couldn't hang on in that time. And just reads the eyes of Jeremy Gallon. And at the last second, based on the eyes and the hands of Gallon, just puts his hand up in the air and does enough there to keep Gallon away from the... From the right... Caught in the end zone by Gallon for the touchdown. These guys have worked their tails off for this kind of night, this kind of opportunity, the back shoulder. It's all about timing and feel. Ball's in the air, thrown away from the defender. There's really nothing he could do on a perfectly thrown ball and perfect execution by Gardner and Jeremy Gallon. Rear high, by the way, for Devin Gardner here tonight. Deep drop. Going to go deep downfield. Go for the home run, and it's grabbed. The play action. Watch 41 Farley sink up in and then finally get back. And when he hustles to get back, he and Austin Collinsworth, a little bit out of position, but the ball is just perfectly thrown. The stick right here, he would not hurt at all for one more year. Dropping it off. Gallon dives in zone. Great call. Play action, again utilizing the speed of Devin Gardner, getting him on the edge with the ability to run or throw, and he finds his man. There's something about the maize and blue 21 that when he goes up against Notre Dame, good things happen. And how about that block right there by Jeremy? Diving incomplete. Gallon. To his left. Right. Watch his feet. Usually he gets his feet set that time. He, he didn't get him set, and then it was almost with the tight ends. 
third down and 12. Sideline intercepted. Picked off by Jackson. Is now irrelevant. How Watch many, the interference. How many times have we seen Michigan hit the back shoulder fade? Let's take another look at that. Bennett Jackson was thinking back. Really close look. As I said, Jackson's anticipating. Well, I, I, I don't know.